What's going on everybody? It's your boy Joe Fame coming at you with a brand new video. I know it's been a very long time since I last done a video, but this time we're going to dive more into the iPad 2021 12.9 M1 chip, 16 gigabytes, the old decked out versions, basically the best one you can get besides the two terabyte. Uh, but basically we're gonna go over accessories. You might have seen a bunch of accessories already by going through But I'm gonna show you the ones that I think are the best ones that is all you need You don't need to go out and have a hundred different accessories You kind of only just need a small amount to get what you need to get done and it's enough that I just need to keep it very minimal So I'm not going out and spending a bunch of money on a bunch of different accessories that I may or may not use Which I kind of did because I'm not using some of the stuff could have replaced others, but don't mind all that. I'm gonna jump into this really quick. The first thing you're gonna need is that when you have your iPad is a case, right? So you can either go out, you get yourself a cheap case, you know, buy something that's just gonna be good, or you go out and you get yourself, you know, an actual touchpad case. And then you're also gonna need a screen protector. I did put one uh, shields, but I get bubbles and it's like my third attempt to messed up. So I'm probably just gonna go out and just get one from Best Buy and tell them to put it on for me and at least I know if something happens to it, they can replace it. In the meantime, I did get one off of Amazon, I paid like nine bucks for like the three pack, but I kept messing up on it. So that was one of the accessories. But the other case, uh, it took me a while. I was originally had some other ones I was gonna order through Amazon. I found some other $100 cheap options for the touchpad, but uh, you know, I got lucky and I was like, you know what, let me just get the Logitech one instead of dishing out the whole 350 for the MacBook one that they always keep saying, hey, get that one, because that's like the best one to have, which is probably true, but I do like the Logitech one, the combo touch, it's 229 if you go to the store. I like how it just clips on. It's very easy, very compact, it's very heavy duty. This I'm not too fond of, how you lay it up and how you prompt it, it's not the best, but it definitely does the trick. Like on a bed, I guess it's not good, but on a hard surface, I guess it does work fine. So besides, I guess, a screen protector, like I said, you either buy a cheap one off Amazon if you know how to put them on pretty good. They're not as easy as putting on phone ones. Uh, so I had a couple of bubbles issues in the corner. So it is what it is, but at least it's on there for now. But I'm gonna get some, probably a new one in the future. But that's the first thing. Case, screen protector, 100%. That's the first thing you need to buy when you get your iPad. Cause protection, you're bringing this home with you, you're gonna be carrying this, you're gonna be doing stuff with it. You definitely need the case and screen protector, hands down what you have to do. It's just, it's just common sense, but you need to get this. Uh, the next second thing that's very important is a dongle piece that will connect to your iPad so you can connect different things because there's not much ways to really connect it because it only has the one type USB-C in the bottom. So I got this one, it's from actually from Hyperdrive. You can get this at any retail store, Best Buy, Walmart, uh, or even maybe even Target may even have, I'm not too sure. Uh, this adapter piece that's on it has different screws and different pieces So it comes with this little stretch adapter piece that allows you to connect it to it The only reason why I'm using this right now is because with this case It doesn't fit when you have the actual clip pieces But these little clip pieces on here that comes with it There's two sides so they come like this one will come already on it you want it, if you have the 12.9 version, the new version, you want to take off the original one and put on the second one. And the second one will help fit it snug. If you're not using a case or if you're using more of a thinner case, it should fit perfectly fine. That's what I was doing for a while and I loved it because it was so more compact. I didn't have extra wires hanging out. It was just nice to have all that. There's a lot of different ones you can look at, but this one worked really good. I could plug in my SSD, uh, my two, my two, both my T7s or my T5s. You know, you got your USB. You know, you got your SD card, micro SD card, and then you got your Thunderbolt port right here, and then you got the headphone, which you can use for, if you have a microphone, for headphones, whatever you wanna use, you can use it with this. Uh, if you have this type of case, power or even the magic one, you may need to use the adapter piece that comes with it. This is what comes with it, it extends out, it's extender adapter, which allows you to plug it in so you can still connect everything you need to, which is fine, because I just put it on my music stand and I just run the cables that way, so it's not the end of the world. If you're not gonna have a case right away, or you're not trying to spend money like that on a case, so you feel like you're not gonna really move it out of your office, or you're gonna keep it more at home, definitely recommend this. You've probably seen this a bunch of times on YouTube. It's really cheap and it's really awesome. I love this thing. It's the Anzor, uh, Anzor. I, I, people say it like a hundred times what it's called. This is very sturdy. It's a very sturdy stand and it just sits perfectly. You can, look, uh, you can go up like that if you wanted to. It has different angles, so you can definitely adjust it. 
and if this is the iPad perfect, you would just lay it on there and it would lay perfectly flat right on the surface. As you can see like that, very sturdy. It's very got really good weight. Like I think there's only things like 30 bucks, 30 or 40 bucks on Amazon and it's really sturdy. It's got really good weight to it. The only thing you may need is if you don't have a case, you need also a keyboard. So I did get the keyboard first. This is a very popular one. You know, it has the light up keys on it. Uh, you could change the RGB on it. So you can do different colors, green, blue, yellow, purple, teal, blue, red. I like it on green, green's my color. Uh, this is really cool. I now use this with more of my PC. Um, that since I got this case, I really don't use this with this anymore, but I have been using it more with my PC. It's still a nice Bluetooth. I like the keys on it. It's not clicky or anything like crazy, but it does the job. And for me, it's perfectly fine. The only thing I didn't get a chance to get was a mouse for it. So I guess you get yourself a wireless mouse. I was just using a regular hardwire mouse because you have this adapter, you can use a hardwire mouse, which so it's still fine. It gives you the accuracy that you need. These are just a couple accessories that I think you just need. You don't even need anything more than that. The next thing I'm gonna buy when I go out actually is probably the Apple Pencil. So if you're doing a lot of note taking, a lot of drawing, which I'm gonna probably get more to graphic design and procreate. So I'm probably gonna go pick up a pencil either, you know, sometime this weekend or something, just so I have the last accessory that I'll need. But honestly, case, screen protector, you're already basically halfway there. I definitely recommend one um, that does have a keyboard and everything already with it. There's some other options too. Like I said, this is $230. The magic one is 350. But I found some other ones on Amazon that got a lot of good reviews for about a hundred bucks. I don't know how good they are. I didn't get a chance to test it, but I was gonna buy that. That was originally the first one I was gonna buy. Uh, I forgot what brand it was, but it was a like hundred bucks. I had a lot of great reviews. I'm gonna get that one, but I ended up just dishing out the extra 130 just to get something I know is gonna be very beneficial, very strong. I know Logitech, I know the brand. I use a lot of their stuff. So this is definitely worth it. So besides the case, and your screen protector, honestly, you're gonna need some type of connector. There's a bunch of different ones. You get cheap ones, you get really good Thunderbolt ones. If you go on YouTube, they always push the really high-end Thunderbolt ones, the ones that are like $200 or more. If you don't wanna spend all that money, this cost me about like 60 bucks or so. I did try the Anchor one. Somebody else posted about Anchor one. That was the first one that I tried. Actually, I tried a couple of them and I kept returning them because they wouldn't fit into uh, my iPad, they wouldn't fit it snug. Like I wanted it flush like this. Like I didn't want anything sticking out and a lot of them don't work that way. Then I found out this one did. I just had to switch out the, the plate and it fit perfectly. Now that I have this case on it, I have to use the extender piece now. So that's one downfall. But if I ever did take it out of this case, I could still just clip it back on where it's just flush like this. I and mean, it's gonna do what I need to do. That's why I definitely recommend this one because I know for a fact it works for the 12.9. You just gotta switch out the bracket when you first get it. So these are first couple accessories. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. If you guys are using any type of other accessories that you make, you know, would be really beneficial or something that I should definitely look at. I wanna check more out. That'd be pretty cool, I don't mind looking at different gear. I love talking about gear if I'm not talking about music in general. So these are just a few items, but make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm hoping I see you guys in the next one. My next one is gonna go a little bit more back into music related. So yes, I know I've been bouncing between electronic stuff and music stuff, but it all ties together because I do use my iPad for everything when it comes to music production now. And uh, basically I'm trying to make this, uh, you can't really replace this with a laptop, but I'm trying my hardest to make it a replacement, I guess you could say. Uh, I do still use my Mac because it's just always near me. But now that I have this case, <laughs> it makes my life so much easier. I was doing side by side. I was like, I could just carry this. It's so much lighter than carrying my 15 inch MacBook. This is just lighter. I can pop it in backpacks a lot quicker. I can still do everything I need to do with it. It has a keyboard already, everything's set for me. And uh, you know, when I wanna connect something to it, I just gotta bring this adapter piece. That's why I wanted the other piece, but it's all right. Do what you gotta do. So yeah, so I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in the next one. All right, I'm out for now. Peace.